Hi, I'm Heather from Purple Tea and I'm going to talk to you today about this wine, Finca de la Olma from the Wine Society. It was £5.50 a bottle, making it an absolute bargain. It's 100% Verdejo, which is a grape that's been grown in the Rueda region of northern Spain for around 10 centuries now. So a long history, but a grape that I would say has only been starting to get popular in the UK maybe in the last three or four years. It's a very dry, crisp white wine and it's full of citrus and probably I would say tropical, maybe like pineapple flavours, but not at all sweet. So often people think of um, pineapple and tropical as a sweet flavour. So because it's very fruity, you might imagine this to be a sweet wine, but it's very much dry, crisp and refreshing. Yeah, just exactly what you would expect. What is unusual about this wine is that it's called uh, Vino de la Tierra Castilla y León, which is unusual because generally when I would buy um, Verdejo, it would be from Rueda region. And Rueda is inside Castilla y León, but generally in Spain, if you see the DO, that's a higher quality classification in theory, at least, than the VDT, Vino de la Tierra, Vino de, de la Tierra, sorry, pardon my bad Spanish, um, which tends to encompass a large region. However, this wine has all its grapes sourced within the Rueda region. I haven't been able to figure out why they've chosen to call it uh, Castilla y León rather than Arueda. Uh, the, the rules don't seem to be that complicated for 100% Rueda within uh, within uh, the Rueda district. 100% Verdejo is absolutely uh, allowed and encouraged and celebrated. So we'll, we may never know. However, perhaps having this uh, VDT status is what helps to keep the cost of the wine down. And that can only be a good thing. £5.50 for a wine like this makes it absolutely perfect to go with those Saturday night takeaways which are perhaps Thai, Chinese, Indian. That kind of food doesn't need a wine that is £15 a bottle because the flavours may overpower it. However, this wine will go splendidly. It's mouth, mouth filling, refreshing. It's got a really nice uh, feel in the mouth and it's got a really good acidity that just makes you want to take another sip. And that can only be a good thing while you're tucking into your Chinese feast this evening. So with that, I'm going to go off and enjoy my Chinese feast and another glass of this, which is really good value for £5.50. In Spain, you'd be paying maybe two euros a glass for this. In the UK, you'd probably be paying five pounds a glass for it if you could get it. So en enjoy a bottle. If you can't, if you're not a member of the Wine Society, you, you probably can't buy this without joining. So look out for Verdejo. It's a fantastic grape with a really good food-friendly character and very refreshing. Enjoy.